Hey everyone, it's Eric Goins from Flywheel Studio here. It's been a while since we have done any uh, video tutorials or anything, so I wanted to show you something we just built for one of our clients. Um, one of the most common, uh, not maybe most common, but one of the unique things about Adalo is the sign up process, and we always come into issues because we don't have deep links, and how do you give users accounts? Um, one of the problems with that is in the Adalo user database collection, you can post and create user accounts. Um, but the one thing you can't post to the collection is a user's password. Okay. So if you look at this um, and you go to post uh, for users, you'll see everything that you can post here. Um, this is temp password. This is a field I created, but you cannot post the password. You can try and do it on the back end. It doesn't work either. I've already tried it. It's not just that Adalo prevents it from being seen. Um, it's just something that you cannot out automatically create for a user. So in the event that you are creating user accounts somewhere else, what we did here is I created a little tutorial of how to use a temp password and use that securely. Let's go in and create a user, okay? And so this is the only use case for this example is when you already are creating the user, you already have their email address or username, and you want to um, uh, add them as a, as a user. So um, let's go in and do test at email.com. There's no password because we can't create that for the user. They have to create it for themselves, but uh, I'm going to put in a temp password for them. That could be, 20 random digits it could be six random digits it could be their email address it could be password whatever you want it to be um, you can do that so let's save that and let's see what this process looks like for this user okay you can see i tested that earlier there so we'll go into our app and this should take us to the last user that was in here let's see where we end up Okay, so we're on our homepage. Basically, the user would go in to sign up, and then we're going to take them to a page where they have to enter their information. So that's going to be test at email.com. Okay, and you'll see there's nothing here for them. All right, they, they can't do anything until they get this right. The other user's um, temp password is 123456. It doesn't work. You have to have both of these fields match. Okay, so once we put in temp, you see sign up comes up. We've matched everything now, and we can have them sign up. Okay, now they need to add their new password. So let's do password. Okay, passwords need to match. We have some conditional visibility here that these two fields need to be the same. And we'll go in and put in the new password and complete. Okay. And that will take them to the home page. And you can see everything else is trying to get their password now. If we go back to our Dalo collection, we can go in and we can see this test user has a password. It's hidden now. And this is just a leftover field. We won't ever use this again. That's a pretty simple way to do it. This is a custom form. So we collect their email, that's just an email input. Then we collect the uh, password, that is the second input there, and the type is password. And then on sign up, what we do is this is a list of all of the users. It's a button, but we made the button a list where the email is equal to the email input and the temp password is equal to the password input. OK, and the reason we did that is is because we can't update the user unless we know which user to update and we can't log in the user unless they have a password. So if you try and just put in a button here, OK. And you try and do a logged in action, right, more user login, login or even sign up, right? 
you it doesn't help you to do anything because you can't validate who this is. This is just creating a new account. It's not going to match anyone to their existing account. So, um, you, and you can't also use the login because you, there's no password to match it to. So what we did is we created a list. We filtered so these two things have to be exactly equal. Okay, and what that does is it sends the current user. Okay, this is in our available data. Sends the current user to the new password screen, and then they have to enter two pat two passwords that match here. And then what 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 we do is we sign them in. We have to. Oh, you know what? Actually, I didn't even sign them in. So we update the user. Okay, and then what we can do is actually we could do user login. Okay. And it's going to be the current user email and um, the current user password. Oh, we don't have it there. Um, so we can use the logged in, the form inputs password there. Okay. Uh, lastly, I'll just say this is based off conditional visibility that both these passwords have to match each other. And we have the same thing here in reverse. This means that they do match. This shows when they don't match. Um, and for anyone who caught it, um, technically, these will show the complete will show when you even when you haven't added a password. So in order to go to the home page, I did put a um, conditional formatting here um, that basically you it'll only happen if password one is not empty. OK, so they will have to put something in there in, in order to get to the home page. Hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Cheers.